Tonight, we're focusing on a mysterious illness in our series, Desperate for Dollars, the Fight for Medical Research. A Virginia Beach woman is determined to help find better treatment for the lupus that attacks her body. Anchor Janet Roach explains. You can have your good days and you have your bad days. If there is something that could make living with lupus just a little easier, Tarshina Jackson wants to know what it is. And all I usually do is just sit there and wait for a bite and hopefully want a bite. Some people that do know about lupus, they know. They, they'll check on you more. They know they stink of lupus. They know that's a critical illness. Peaceful Friday night fishing. Yeah is such a contrast to the attack going on in her body right now. Lupus is causing Jackson's immune system to do battle with her organs and tissues. There is no cure. This year has been my worst year. I've been doing very well with it. Jackson, a Medicare team coordinator for Centera, and we make sure to ensure that we get the right payment on these claims, was temporarily in one research study sponsored by drug giant Pfizer that didn't work out. So she's waiting on word on another study she hopes will test a drug that can help contain the way the disease ravages her skin. Because some medicine may not be good to you because like the medicine try to say, I can't take it because it, it gives me hives. Um, so they just stop me on that drug and then I have to go to another drug. If that drug is not good for me, they'll put me on another drug. So it's technically, the drugs that they give you is the same thing. You gotta think about it, all of it's a trial. How much cell stuff are you taking? Um, was a thousand, but it's now 1500, okay. I just upped it, yeah. Yeah, that's a good dose, so okay. that's the maximum dose. Jackson takes 14 different drugs every day. Anyone could get lupus. So lupus advocates are getting into the rhythm of holding more awareness events like this Zumba party in Hampton. Lupus is one of those mysterious illnesses that a lot of people don't know about, and so they tend to kind of just not support it. According to the Lupus Foundation, the disease has a history of disappointing results from clinical drug trials. And just like the young kids with type 1 diabetes, lupus patients are waiting for congressional approval of millions of dollars in research funds. Bo, bring me the towel, baby. My first fish during this um, trial, it can't do no more better us. That's what I feel. A lot of people don't want me to do it, but I just have a strong intuition. I may be the one that comes up or may find a cure. You don't know. Because how do you find the drugs to treat us? They don't have a specific drug. They just have the cancer drugs or random drugs to treat us right now. Yes, we need something. I'm determined. I'm not going to stop. Janet Roach, 13 News Now.